Hey there, so you can't get to your wedding dress shop. You can't place your order for your wedding dress. What should you do? Yikes, your wedding dress shop, maybe it's closed or maybe you can't get there. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you all about how to say yes to the dress at home and how to do your wedding dress shopping online the right way. My name is Julie and my business is The Garter Girl where I hand make wedding garters for stylish brides. But here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, I have tons of wedding planning uh, advice and tips for you because I know that planning a wedding can be so super stressful when you're trying to work a job and live your life. So I wanted to give this tip to you today because so many of my brides are asking and I posted this on my blog with tons more advice and it's been blowing up um, just on Pinterest and just the little bit I've had it on my blog. So I wanted to make a video here on YouTube today because I'm sure that a lot of you are having questions about how to say yes to the dress at home if your wedding dress shop is closed or you can't get there. So first things first is it's really important to try on your wedding dress. I hopefully you know this, but I know that there's a lot of like fast fashion wedding dress out there, like online retailers, where the dress looks too good to be true because it probably is and the price is way too good to be true. I just really caution you about buying a dress that you cannot try on um, because I took a poll of hundreds of brides who said yes to the dress and 70, over 75% of them said that the dress that they ended up with is not the dress that they had originally thought that they were going to get. And that is because they once they tried on the dress, they realized that while they love the dress and it's a gorgeous dress, it's super important to try it on because you never know how it's going to fit you, what you're going to feel like in it. Every wedding dress designer is different. Every body's different. And you might think you're going to love something, but once you try it on, it's a totally different ball game. So it's so, so, so important to try on your wedding dress. So that being said, um, a lot of wedding dress shops are closed right now or taking a break, or maybe you can't even get there yourself if they're taking limited appointments. So what do you do? So a lot of them are offering um, virtual services and online services to help you say yes to the dress at home. And if your wedding is coming up in a few months, even this is definitely something that you need to look into because those orders need to get placed so that your dress can get made. So just like you need to get to the bridal dress shop in time so that you can have plenty of time to place your order for your dress, the same is um, at home. So if your wedding is coming up in a few months, you need to make sure you can get that dress. So what do you do? Like I said, a lot of dress shops are offering online appointments and also um, at-home appointments. And what is an at-home appointment? Okay, so there's sort of two ways they could do it. If it's local to you, maybe they'll drop the dresses off at your house. Um, but if it's not local to you or dropping off is not possible, they will ship you the dresses. Okay, and there's kind of two styles of dresses that they can ship to you. One is they can ship you samples, meaning let's say they send you five dresses. You try them on, you find the one that you love. Let's say you love one of them, okay? Then you send all five back and you place an order for that one dress that you love, okay? Those, that's a sample. The second way is called a, re it's, um, they all have different names for it, but let's, I'm calling it ready to wear. Okay, so they send you, let's say, five dresses. You find one that you love. You keep that exact dress, and you send four back. So when they do this ready-to-wear, sometimes they will be older samples that, they're, that are of past designs they don't necessarily carry anymore, or sometimes it'll be from their sample sale or just their clearance section. So sometimes, not always, but sometimes you can get a really good discount on these ready to wear styles. Okay, so first things first is to make sure that you know what you're getting, okay? You make sure that you know if it's a sample, if it's a ready to wear, can I keep one? Do I place an order for one? Just make sure you are crystal clear on the types of dresses you're getting. And then the second tip is to make sure that you are clear on the process, right? What is the fee? How much does shipping cost? Um, how much is shipping to me? How much is shipping back to you? Who pays for that? How does that all work? Um, you want to be clear on if there's any fees. Um, you want to be clear if there's any charges for damages or how that process works. How long can you keep the dresses? Meaning, like, do you keep them for a week? Do you get charged if you have them for longer? 
I know it would be amazing to keep the dresses forever, but you can't. Um, you do need to send them back. So you just wanna get, really understand the process there. Just what are the fees and how does it all work? Like logistically, you wanna make sure that there's a time um, that you're home and that you can have time to try on the dresses and that you're not like gone or traveling or something or for work or you know you're working too much and you, you can't get it done so you want to make sure that you're there and available and you fully understand the entire process and how it all works um, and my next tip is to just make it fun right like I know you probably in your mind had this whole experience of how saying the yes to the dress was gonna go and that's different now okay but trying on a wedding dress at home has lots of advantages right like you get there's no pressure there's nobody looking at you or staring at you and there's no next appointment you know you get to take your time and really think about it and you get to feel the dress and you don't have to stand there and, and feel pressure so there's lots of advantages to trying dresses on at home you can have as many people come and join you as you want right maybe you have one video call with your your friends right and then maybe you have another video call going on at the same time with your dress shop consultant um, because that's the other thing a lot of dress shops in addition to offering these online try at home services they're also offering virtual services where you can call them and have a video chat with them as you're trying on the dresses they can help you get in and out of the dresses they can help answer any questions that you have or show you the good places that you can have the dress altered Okay, but you really want to just make it fun for yourself. There's usually a limit to the number of people that you can have in the dress shop. So when you do it at home, you can have as many people as you want. You can pop some bubbles. Okay, no red wine, no snacks. Save that for later. You can pop some bubbles though. You can make it relaxing. You can have a second appointment if you want or a third. You can try it on multiple times. You can, you know, like just really put some music on and really just try to enjoy yourself. Okay, make it fun for yourself. I have a printable that I'll link uh, below, but you can, and it's free. Your friends and family can uh, print out these little signs and hold them up for which one that they like or don't like. So it, there's lots of different ways you can make it fun for yourself and fun for your friends and family. And it doesn't have to be this like sad and depressing experience because there's lots of benefits to getting, um, to saying yes to the dress at home. Uh, my last set of tips I want to center around um, how to make it happen at home, okay? So my best advice is try to do it in a really, really open space. So maybe that's your bedroom or maybe that's even your living room. Just anywhere where you have lots of open space because the dresses are big and they're probably bigger than, you know, what you're used to in terms of just trying on clothes. So you want to have enough space to get in and to be able to move around and really kind of see the dress. The other thing is um, you need a full length mirror if possible. Um, and if that, if you're gonna try them on your living room, make sure you haul that mirror to the living room so that you can look at it there. Um, and make sure you get all this stuff set up before you start putting the dresses on. Cause like I said, moving around in them, especially when it's a sample and not made to fit you can be, can be a little difficult. So get everything prepped you want to open space make sure you have a mirror if you have a second mirror that you can do like a handheld and see the back of the dress even better um, like I said pop your bubbly get your music going um, if you have any accessories already you want to make sure to get those um, you don't have to have them accessories are not a must to try on a wedding dress but if you have anything that you know like maybe you're borrowing a veil or you somehow already purchased your veil or if you have a sash that you know that you're gonna wear or a belt or something like that, you wanna get that out and get that ready. Um, sometimes the dress shops will include accessories to try on as well. Make sure you ask about those and get just get everything all ready because it can be a lot, like I said, moving around in those dresses and you don't wanna be running around the house. Um, the dresses, um, they might not fit you perfectly because most times most dresses do need to be altered, but um, you want to make sure to get the little clips, whether it's like um, a clip that you have at home or even a uh, clip for the clothesline. You just want to make sure to get some clips so that you can kind of clip it together and sort of hold it up. All right, so I hope that helps you um, in your tips. Like I said, there's a lot more. I'll link the blog post below. There's so many more tips about how to wedding dress shop at home. 
Um, I don't want to make this go on too much longer, but again, my name is Julie. My business is The Garter Girl, and I hope this helps you. Please subscribe. I have so many more wedding tips and advice that I'm bringing to you, including to everything that I already have out there, and I just want to make this whole wedding planning process easy and simple and not difficult um, because it can be stressful. This is the first time you're doing it. And someone like me, I've been through it how many umpteen, you know, thousands of times. So I want to be able to give you that knowledge and help you make it not stressful for yourself. All right. Have a good rest of the day and make sure you check out the blog post below and you subscribe to my channel and have an awesome day.